Hello everyone, this is Preeti. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Well, everyone knows that how important SQL is. SQL is an extremely desirable skill for anyone in today's market. I'm not, not just talking about the IT sector. Uh, it is important um, for each and every sector. It is, you know, becoming increasingly common for all the employers to at least familiar with the basics of SQL. So even if you are related to finance, even if you are related to banking, business analyst or data analyst, you, you should have the basic knowledge of SQL. So, so today, once again, I'm going to share a few of the interview questions for SQL round that has been asked to me for data analyst profile. So let's begin with the first one. Are left joints faster than inner joint? The answer is no. Definitely left join is not faster than inner join. We know that inner join only returns the rows that matched in all the join tables based on the join column obviously. But in case of left join, left join has to do all the work of inner join plus it has to do extra work of null extending the results. So obviously it would be expected to return more rows as compared to uh, inner join. So uh, therefore, because of this, you can say that the total execution time for left join is more as compared to the inner join. Um, the very next question is when would you then choose a left join over a inner join? So uh, in the first question, we already have answered that left join is not faster than inner join. So then why would we choose left join over inner join? So everyone knows that left join is used um, when you want all results from the left table or you can say that table a so uh, there are certain scenario when left join uh, you know is more uh, fast than inner join for an instance when some of the tables are very small you can say that those tables like let's say you are joining 10 tables and few of them are really small in size uh, they have just eight or nine or just 10 rows or the another scenario is like when the tables don't have you know sufficient indexes to cover the query that then we can choose even left join rather than the inner join so the next question is let's say you have employee table with the column names first name last name salary department so how we can get the max minimum and average salary so this is quite simple actually we can use min function max function and average function so for this let me just take you to my work branch so here i have created a dummy table here is this the simple one uh, so as you can see that this is the table so here is employer id that is unique one first name last name salary and department now the very first question is uh, i just want to know the max minimum uh, max uh, minimum salary so for this i am going to use min function and for max i'm going to use maximum for maximum i'm going to use this and for average i'm going to use average function it's quite simple actually so you can give alias as well like lowest um, lowest salary or you can provide here as highest salary and we know which table we are going to use its employee table so let me just run this so here are the uh, lowest highest and the average salary out of the a all the table so the very next question is from the same table now how we can get the minimum maximum and average salary for each department so here what we are going to use we are going to use group by here so what we are going to use group by department now we want to see the minimum maximum and the average salary for each department so this is what we are going to do so you can see here for finance the lowest salary is 15 um uh, 1500000 000, and the highest is this average salary is this for insurance it's 600000 6 lakh actually yeah, 6 lakhs to 8 lakh banking. This is the highest, this is the lowest, and this is the average salary. So the very next question is from the same table, how we can get the variance and standard deviation of salary 
for each department now here we can use various and standard deviation function so for variance it's simple uh, we are going to use the variance function and we are going to check the variance for salary and for standard deviation function we are going to use this function and we want to see the standard deviation for the salary from employee table and we need to group by department as we want to see the variance and standard deviation of salary by department so now we will, when we run it we can see these are the values these are the variance and these are the standard deviation uh, of salaries by department now uh, if you see the output there are many values after decimal for insurance department so here we have seen you know the variance and standard deviation of salary for each and every department but for insurance you can see after decimal points there are just one two three four five six there are six values there are many values after the decimal point so we want to get rid of it or even the interviewer may ask you like he just want only two or three values after the decimal point so what we can do we can use round function here so if i just simply want to get rid of it i can simply use round function if you want only two values you can mention here two or three or whatever you want right so okay so let me just run this and you can see the output there are no values after the decimal point so the next question is uh, seventh question is combine first name and last name as a single column from the same table that we are using separated by space for this we are going to use concatenation function here concatenation function actually is used to combine two or more column values so what i am going to use i am going to do here so i am going to use concat function here and i just want to see the first uh, I think it was first name, right? Not first value, first name. Concat first name. And I just want to concat it with a space. So let me just put a space here. If you want hyphen, comma, anything, you can put it here. And I want to concat first name with the uh, last name. Okay. And from where I want to select it? From employee table okay let me just run it so you can see here these are the values let me just make it bigger so you can see here is a space at each and every first and last name combination so you can even use alias for this you can name it as whatever you want complete name or just name so you can do that as well fine so the next question is how to get employee details from the table where the first name contains alphabet A. So here we are going to use percentage sign. We know that percentage is used. We're, here we are basically using uh, like like operator. So what we can do here, we can just simply star because we want all the details from employee table. So we are going to put a condition here. We are going to use where clause and for this, uh, the first name like so what we want I think we want a so we are going to use percentage a percentage so basically percentage means means anything before and after there should be a in the first name doesn't matter it's at the starting it's at the end it's in the middle doesn't matter so it could be anywhere so we are going to use this and you can see we have all the details where the A alphabet is present in uh, the first name. So that's all about today's video. So thank you so much for listening to me. If you have learned something new, please like the video and do subscribe the channel. Stay tuned for more videos. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.